Thank you. Great. Welcome back. We are in Miami. And we are at the boat show. It's a beautiful day. And there's tons of boats to see, so let's take a look. Seafinity solar powered yachts. That's really cool. Let's take a quick walk over here. Solar powered yacht? I don't think so. I can't imagine. That's like sting. <laughs> We're going over here, right? Do you have a solar powered yacht? Is this is it? This is solar powered? Oh my gosh, really? Okay. It's That's all cool. solar powered? No way. You yeah. Got electricity pumped in right there. We have a high, we, are, we have a backup diesel. We don't have our phone for it. Solar electric driving. Electric, is it electric motor? Yeah. Wow. How many back? I don't know, but if you want to. I joined this boat from a Turkey to from Turkey to Malta. Oh. Where is it made? Uh, Antalya. Antalya. Can we get on and take a look at it? Serenity 64. The construction is carbon fiber. This is the Serenity. So it's a 19.4 meter length and 9.4 width. Maximum draft is 1.1 meter. Display, display, uh, displacement is 25 uh, tons and it's electric but it does have two diesel and electrocution speed is 4.6 knots if you use diesel at 16 there's a AC in it water tank Yeah. 
And it looks like it's all solar. Here? Yeah, every flat spot has solar. And solar up here. Okay. This is the, the first one in the US. Um, she was launched finally in November last year, where she's built in Turkey. Uh, it's a US company, by the way. It's, uh, okay. they, they own the shipyard in, in Turkey. Um, and she was launched in November. We shipped her over, I think, it, she arrived in December. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first time she's been shown. The first people to come on board are yourself. First time anybody's seen her is at this show. The the company Serenity, their um, their intention is is to produce vessels that can run entirely on solar energy. Um, that is not to say that we don't have backup equipment. We have diesel engines also. We have a diesel generator, but the vessel is capable of running wholly, totally, all day, all night on solar energy. Um, now, in order to do that, we have to build a boat as big as this. We get enough of these panels to create to, to, to capture enough energy from the sun that we can bank the lithium-ion batteries and actually keep the vessel running. So, sorry if it sounds like sort of baby talk, but that's kind of we have to cover everybody. How many panels? Thirty-five panels, like sixty-four. Sixty-four. Wow. Smaller than that. Sixty-four panels, uh, two hundred forty watts each. Uh, they cover also the, 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 yeah. what okay. you see in the photos on the models and stuff is not necessarily the reality. So, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, every ounce of energy that we capture from the solar panels gets banked into two lithium ion batteries, which are down the back end of the boat in two compartments down there. Um, the same goes for any other energy that we, that we bring on board, either right, from shore generator or from the main engine we use it. Everything goes into the big And everything starts the metal from there. We take the energy and we'll convert it into 110 volts in AC for the domestic equipment, you know, the weapon machine and all this sort of stuff. And or we'll step it down on the DC side to, to use it for 12 volt sound batteries, 24 volt for the instrumentation and all this kind of stuff. But it all starts in those batteries, and they're the most important part of the world. They're the fuel tanks, if you like. Um, as far as propulsion goes, we run two electric motors to drive the boat, two 18 kilowatt electric motors, which is relatively small, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a curve. We don't want to draw too much energy out of the, um, out of the batteries. Uh, we don't want to overdraw to too much energy just to, to push the boat along for an extra half a lot, it's just not worth it. So we, we calculated that 18 kilowatts is the yeah. um, But they operate through a hybrid system, very similar to you that you have on your car. Mm. And the electric motor is incorporated into the gearbox behind the engine, behind the diesel engine. So we can either run that gearbox with an electric motor, or we can run it with a diesel engine. Um, if we use the diesel to push the boat along, we invert the electric motors so that we can alternate it, and again, we're charging the batteries. Uh, so we don't waste anything. Everything is always any ounce of energy back in those batteries. Uh, if you don't, uh, you, you mentioned the, the overhead here, the roof. Um, it's, it's a lovely area here to sit, nice breezy, uh, where you can see everything. You can even drive the boat from here if you want. But as far as possible, when we're underway, we like to pull this down. It sits now flat, flush. It's almost a perfect curve over the, the 
Washer and dryer, I'm assuming, on board. We have a washer and dryer combined, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. yeah. I know, I don't use it for drying, but it works good for washing. Good for washing, but Yeah, we you just hang it out to dry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How many lithium batteries are on board? Right, there's four packs. Uh, there's four packs making yeah. about 2 settles, but it's all one back. Um, it's, it's, it's in parallel, so it's, uh, it's, it acts as one battery. We, we don't really consider it a separate battery. Uh, but there's four packs, each have, uh, I think it's about 32, 38 cells each. Um, and the combined, let's see, each box is 38 kilowatts of electricity. Right. I can't remember the numbers, but I can't remember the numbers. In, in terms okay. of we have a hundred, it says 38 kilowatts. Yeah, what's that? 40 something. 100, 100 volts? 38. 96 volts DC, which, which is an unusual voltage. Yes. Um, but it's, uh, as you as you go bigger, uh, our next vessel, where we're after the 30, the 64, we're planning a 74, and we will probably increase to the industrial voltages. Um, 